Hello, this is Mike from the Iowa Public Library for Storytime on Wednesday, April 8, 2020. Today we'll be reading Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout by Shel Silverstein from Where the Sidewalk Ends. Ooh. Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout simply would not take the garbage out. She'd wash the dishes and scrub the pans, and cook the yams and spice the hams, and though her parents would scream and shout, she simply would not take the garbage out. And so it piled up to the ceilings, coffee grounds, potato peelings, brown bananas and rotten peas, chunks of sour cottage cheese. It filled the can, it covered the floor, it cracked the window and blocked the door. With bacon rinds and chicken bones, drippy ends of ice cream cones, prune pits, peach pits, orange peel, globby glumps of cold oatmeal, pizza crusts and withered greens and soggy beans and tangerines and crusts of blackbird butter toast, grizzly bits of beefy roast. The garbage rolled on down the hall. It raised the roof, it broke the wall, and it greasy napkins and cookie crumbs, glops of gooey bubble gum, cellophane from old bologna, rubbery rubbery macaroni, peanut butter, cake to dry, curdled milk and crust of pie, moldy melons, dried up mustard, eggshells mixed with lemon custard, cold french fries and rancid meat, yellow lumps of cream of wheat. <sighs> At last, the garbage reached so high that finally it touched the sky and none of her friends would come to play and all the neighbors moved away and finally, Sarah Cynthia Stout said, Okay, I'll take the garbage out. But then, of course, it was too late. The garbage reached across the state from New York to the Golden Gate. And there, in the garbage, she did hate. Poor Sarah met an awful fate that I cannot right now relate because the hour is much too late. But children, remember Sarah Stout. And always take the garbage out.